Suppose that two joules of work is needed to stretch a spring from its natural length of 30 cm to a length of 42 cm. How much work is needed to stretch the spring from 35 cm to 40 cm? And then question B, how far beyond its natural length will a force of 30 newtons keep the spring stretched? So let's start with some basics. Um, work done uh, in moving the object from A to B can be found by evaluating the following definite integral. Integral from A to B, a function f of x, which is the force function dx. Now, when we work with the spring, then the force function is defined by the Hooke's law uh, like that. f of x equals k times x. So that's Hooke's law for springs. And then k is the spring constant. That's different for every spring. Now, um, let's start by reading the first sentence and trying to see how we can use that or what we can use it for. So it says that suppose that two joules of work is needed to stretch the spring from its natural length of 30 centimeters to a length of 42 centimeters. Let's make a picture of that. So here's, its, here's the spring. And we know that it's 30 centimeters. Now, when spring is in, in its natural state, then when we describe this position, by the way, x is the variable of this position, so that's, that's the distance. Um, x value is zero when spring is, its, uh, is in its natural state. It says that it was stretched to a length of 42 centimeters. So it was, let's say, stretched up to this point, and that is 42 centimeters. So the question is, what is the x value here? Well, if, if it was stretched from 30 to 42, it means it was stretched by 12 centimeters, right? So from x equals 0 to x equals 12 centimeters. That should be actually converted to meters. So that's 0.12 meters. So based on the international system of units, we use meters to describe length. So how are we going to use this information? Well, since we know that two joules of work is needed to stretch the spring this way, we can take this integral and set it up with the given information. So work is two joules, right? That's given. So I'm uh, substituting two for work right here. Then as I set up in the girl, um, spring was stretched from x equals 0 to x equals 0.12. So those are going to be the limits of integration. And then now I have to write the function. Well, the function is not given to me, right? But the only thing I know that this function is going to have this form, right? kx. k, I don't know either, right? So the only thing I can do at this point is to use function like that in general form, kx. That's the force function for the spring, dx. And so we can see, so here it is. And now I will integrate that, keeping this spring constant in, in general form. So integral of kx is kx squared over 2. And I will have to evaluate it at point 12 and 0. So as I plug in 0.12, it's going to be k times 0.12 to the second power over 2. And then minus 0 being plugged in for x. Well, I know it's 0, so just minus 0. So 0 0.12, 0 0.12 squared is, so I'm writing k times 0 0.0144 over 2. And that is, so that is divided by 2, 0 0.0072k. Now, 
what do we have here so far? Um, notice how we start with two, that was work. And as we integrated, we found, well, that same value, but involving k. So if I put together or set equal what I started with and what I ended up with, I'm going to end up with this little equation. 2 equals 0 0.0072 linear equation, right? That I can solve by just dividing both sides by um, 0 0.0072. So 2 divided by 0 0.0072. So from here, k equals 2 divided by 0 0.0072. Now, if I try to divide, and by the way, what did we find? We found the spring constant for our function that describes the spring that we were, uh, we're working with, right? So now we, have, we were able to obtain the force function for our spring. Uh, the only thing that I have this frac fraction here that I would want to simplify. Um, now, if I go ahead and divide 2 by 0 0.0072, I am getting approximation or approximate value. I don't want any approximate values. I want exact values. So to simplify that, what I can try, or at least like to keep it in a fraction form, I can rewrite that decimal as a fraction. So that's same as that decimal, same as 72, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's what, 10 thousandths, right? Four zeros. 72 divided by 10 thousandths. And that's same as 2 multiplied by 10,000 over 72, and that equals, I can do some simplification here, I can divide out 2, that becomes 36, and then 36 I can divide by 4, that's 9, and then 10,000 I can divide by 4, that's 2,500. Okay, so the spring constant in this case is 2,500 over nine, right? I'll keep it like that. Now, um, where are we going to use this? Well, we're going to use that to answer question A. Going back to question A, it says, how much work is needed to stretch the spring from 35 centimeters to 40 centimeters? Since we're being asked to find work, it means that we're going to use this integral. We're going to set up this integral. What do we need for this integral one more time? Well, we need the force function, which we now have. The force function will be f of x equals k. That's what we just found, 2500 over 9 x. That's going to be the force function that we're going to write here. And then we'll need to find the limits of integration. Well, let's do, let's do that now. So we're answering question A. Work needed to stretch the spring from 35 centimeters to 40 centimeters. I'm going to make that picture again. I'll remind you that the natural, natural length of the spring is 30 centimeters. And at this value, displacement is zero, right? That hasn't been stretched. But we're going to stretch, or well, the question is to find work is needed to stretch the spring from 35 centimeters to 40. So 35, let's say, is here. So how do I write it? So I'll put like that 35 centimeters, right? And let's say 40 centimeters is here. So if x equals 0 at 30 centimeters, which is the natural length of the spring, then what is the x value at 35? Well, it has to be 5 centimeters, which is same as 0 0.05 meters. And at 40 centimeters, right here, x is 10, right? 10 centimeters, which is same as 0.10 meters or same as 0.1. I can just drop the zero. Now, in question A, we need to, know, we need to find how much work is needed to stretch the spring that way. So it means that we're going we're gonna to be using our integral, right? Let's set it up. So work is the integral. Now what are the limits of integration? The limits of integration will be 0 0.05 and 0 0.1, since that's 
how we're stretching the spring from 0.05 to 0.1. Here we have to write the force function. What is the force function? Once again, here, here it is in general, right? In general form. But we already found the spring constant, so our force function is going to be Twenty five hundred over nine, that's K, it's over here. Spring constant X DX. So we will need to evaluate this integral. So integral is twenty five hundred over nine times X squared over two. Evaluated at point one and point zero five. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep that constant like outside of, uh, of my evaluation here. So 2500 over 9 times 0.1 squared over 2 minus 0 0.05 squared over 2. Okay. So that's 2500 over 9 times 0.1 squared is 0.01 over 2 minus 0 0.025 squared, that's 0 0.0025 over 2. So it's 2500 over 9 times, so that difference is 0 0.0075 over 2. Let's simplify that. So we get, we can divide out 2, right? So that's 1250. And that decimal we can rewrite as a fraction. So we have 1250 over 9 times 75 over 1, 2, 3, 4. 10,000. Here we can divide out 1250. So 1250. 1250 here, that's uh, 8. And what else we can? I'm trying to find a different color. So let's do red. Um, 9 and 75. Those two can be divided by 3, right? So I'm going to have 3 left here and then. 25 left over here. So let's put it all together. 1 times 25 is 25, and then 3 times 8, that's 24, ju oh, 24 joules. 24 joules. So work, work needed to stretch the spring from 35 centimeters to 40 centimeters is 25 over 24 joules. That's same as if I divide 25 divided by 24. If I approximate it, that's approximately 1.04 joules. Okay, so that's how you do part A. And now part B, it's actually much quicker and easier. So in part B, I'm going to move it back. It says, how far beyond its natural length Will a force of 30 newtons keep the spring stretched? Okay, so it's talking about force and the distance, right? Well, here's our force function. That's the one that relates distance or uh, displacement of the spring with, with, the for, with the force needed. So it means that the left-hand side we're given, we need to find the right-hand side. We need to find x. Now, k, we already know, right? So in other words, I'm going to use 30 to plug in for f, k I found, and then I will need to find x. So let's write it over here. I'll say use f of x equals kx. So force is 30, and then the right hand side is 2500 over 9 x. So from here, x equals, we need to multiply by 9 over 2500 on each side, right? So 9 
times 30, that's 20, 27, 270 over 2500. That I can simply divide using calculator. So 270, 270 divided by 2500, that's point one zero eight. So, and that's in meters. Remember how we measured displacement in meters. So that means that that the spring will be stretched by the same as ten point eight centimeters.